Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is a pretty chill video. So before I begin my introduction, grab your snacks, grab your food, grab whatever. Today is going to be a pretty chill video. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Jackie Savilla. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Be somewhere listed around here. And don't forget to um, post, put your post notifications on as soon as you subscribe to my channel. So that way you won't miss any future videos of mine. I know I have a lot of future, I mean future, I know I have a lot of new subscribers. So hi, thank you so much for um, subscribing. I hope you guys really enjoy my content. I'm gonna move a little bit closer. I mean, a little bit farther. If you guys didn't know, I got my new bed. I was going to upload a video of me getting my new bed, but it was kind of like early in the morning and I just woke up like at nine. So yes, I'm going to tell you guys a few mini work stories. I'm not gonna tell you where I work, but I will tell you mini work stories. Let me know if you really like this, um, this background because I used to record over here and you wouldn't be able to see me so yes I'm going to go a little bit like that but yes I did get a new pet I mean I had pants on so yes I did get a new bed I'm so super happy about it so I'm going to be telling you guys many work stories there's probably like four work stories that I want to tell you if you guys didn't know I did get a new job I've been looking for a job for a very long time. I used to work at GK Maxx, if you guys didn't know, but I don't work there anymore, so I don't mind saying that. But my new job, I'm not gonna say I work. I'm not gonna say where I work, just for, um, hold on, just for safety reasons, of course. Um, probably later in the future, I will tell you guys, but right now, it's my new job. Um, I really like it. Last Thursday, yeah, last Thursday, I got my paycheck, which I'm super happy about it. I haven't um, wasted it, I'm trying to save. So yes, my first story actually happened yesterday. Yesterday was, no, yeah, yeah, yesterday was Monday. So on this day, I am the dining room host. Yesterday I worked from 11 to five. So this one day, it actually happened yesterday, I meant to say. So yesterday I was working and I was just checking the tables, taking everyone's trash, asking for, I was asking people for refills and this lady said my name. On my name tag it says Jackie and it says the company, I'm not gonna show you that. But it had the company's name and my name, just my first name. I think that's so much better for safety reasons and other stuff like that. So yesterday this lady, ordered food and she sat down at the restaurant I work at and she ordered a kid's meal I think if you order a kid's meal um, they give you a toy I think every restaurant does that they if you order the kid's meal they give you a toy but you can swap it for um, ice cream cone and a cup or in a cone so this is kind of embarrassing because I didn't tell the lady that was me the other lady in the drive-thru and I worked uh, okay, let me not get off track, but this lady um, came up to me and she asked, can I get, um, let's say, let's say this is um, a toy. She asked me to um, give her some ice, to give her ice cream in the cone. I asked her, um, in the cup or a cone? She said cone. So I went to the register and cashier and then I went to the drive through this way because there's the glued together so I went to the drive through to get a cone and they have little cones right here and the ice cream cone is right there so I did that and I got the ice cream cone and I was looking at it I put the ice cream in the cone and I was looking at it and I was like that's not how you do ice cream cone but it's I've been working there not even a week my first day of work was last Monday so yes I'm still learning how to do things and people are still teaching me how to do certain things because it's not even been well maybe it's been a week since I worked there but maybe not because I started last Monday 
If you guys haven't seen that video, it'll be listed up here right now. So you guys can watch it. And I gave the ice cream cone to this lady and she was like, um, that's a weird, um, what's it called? That's a weird ice cream cone because it's kind of like towards the left. The ice cream I cone, the ice cream cone, the ice cream I made for her was looking kind of weird. Like I say, what it looked like, but it looked kind of weird. And then seconds later, I think the lady wasn't satisfied with the ice cream cone and she went to the front because I saw her. I was um, doing refills for um, these customers and I saw her, or maybe I was in the back. Yeah, I think I was doing something else, taking out the trash. And I saw the same lady that I gave the ice cream cone to. She didn't like it. So she went all the way to the front in the counter. The cashier I don't know her name but I'm not gonna say her name so the lady wait okay yeah the lady went into the cashier and asked her if she can get another ice cream cone cuz that's not how you do ice cream cones I'm not really um, sure how you do them because no one taught me or maybe they did but they went a too little too fast oh this video is like six minutes long okay I'm only gonna tell you two more so and then after the lady and the cashier gave her her ice cream cone the right way she was like who does this ice cream cone and the other lady may i say her name but she she was like it must have been your um team member your associate okay that's kind of like a mini story time second story time this lady came in and i said hi welcome to blank blank and maybe I think the lady was eating in the restaurant. That's a little weird. But the lady was eating in the restaurant and I was in the front just giving customers their food and also serving drinks to them and refills and all of that stuff. And this lady came into the front. I was like, hi, how may I help you? And she asked for lemons, you know, lemons. And I was like, okay. I mean, meant to say she gave me her cup. And she told me she wanted lemons, so I gave her lemons, like a whole full pack of lemons. And there was another person working with me, and got towards me. I'm not going to say her name, but she was working with me. I was like, okay. I gave her lemons. She was like, no, 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 no. She meant to say lemonade. No, before that, she said, I would like lemon water. We don't sell lemon water. If you want lemonade, then I can get you lemonade. But if you want water, I can get you water. And then... I think I gave her lemons and she was like, no, not that. And then she told me she wanted lemonade. I was like, girl, how come you didn't say so? How come you didn't tell me you want lemonade? It's called lemonade, okay? If you wanted water, then you can get water. If you want lemonade, you can get lemonade. If you want Coke, then Coke. Then you have to tell me because I can't read your mind. I wasn't trying to be rude to her, but I was like, oh. And the lady that was working with me was like, or she asked me if the cups were clean. I said yes, she sh so she had to put the lemons back in this little container. I was like, oh, if you wanted lemonade, you have to tell me lemonade. You can't tell me lemon water, lemons, because I think she had some, I think she had water in it, but I threw her cup away and I gave her lemons. She was like, no, lemonade. I wasn't trying to be rude to her, but you have to tell me what you want to drink, like refills. You have to tell me lemon. Or lemonade there's a difference if you want lemon with water I can get you water and I can put little sprinkles of lemon there okay this video is eight minutes long nine okay I'm gonna tell you a third one um, this lady and her daughter were eating at this restaurant and I think I was yeah I was checking the tables and also when customers leave and they gave me the tray I throw in the trash and I also clean tables so the next customer would be like oh this is so clean and I can I kind of feel bad at this um, story that I'm about to tell you so I, I went to the table and asked this lady what she like a refill I didn't think she would hear me so I said it hi would you like and um, would you like a refill and the lady didn't hear me and then her daughter I suppose yeah her daughter came from the at our restaurant where we work we have a little playground where the kids can play 
and little tables and outside. And I kind of felt bad because this, her daughter told me that her mom is deaf and I didn't know because I was like, I thought she was on, no, the lady was on her phone or something, but she couldn't hear me because she was deaf and I felt kind of really bad. And the lady, I mean, her daughter, her daughter, the lady's daughter told me that she was deaf and I felt really bad because I didn't know. And I went, I went to ask the little girl, her daughter, to ask if she wanted any more refills and she said no, but as soon as they left, I felt kind of really bad because I don't know sign language I would like to learn. I felt really bad about it because I didn't know. You know, I thought she was on her phone or, you know, you know when people don't want to talk to you or they an don't answer you. So I was like, oh. But I did say sorry. I felt kind of really bad. Okay, I'm going to tell you another story similar to that one. I was in the dining room, which is in the front, where you customers come in and you say, hi, welcome to Blink Blink. And these two ladies were sitting all the way in the back where the playroom is, the playroom, playground, playroom, playground is right here and there's tables here, 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 trash. So I asked this lady, I don't remember, um, yeah, two ladies and their kids, I went up to them and asked them, would you like a refill? And they were speaking, I think. Now I asked them two times and they were speaking in sign language, so I'm, I'm assuming they were deaf, but I felt really bad because I don't know sign language and I was just trying to ask them would, you, would they were like, would they really like refills or would you like for me to take the trash? And I think the lady said no, but she wasn't speaking because she was deaf and I felt really bad. Oh, okay before this video gets like 13 minutes long, sorry. Um, okay, I'm gonna tell you one more and then that's it. I told myself this video was gonna be a few minutes long, but not so long. So, I was in the restroom doing my business, like you showed me, and I was washing, before I was washing my hands, I saw this little girl and this little boy um, go into the, they were in the women's restroom washing their hands and they were taking a long time and they were also making a mess. That's kind of like a short mini story. And I don't know I don't know why you would leave your little kids to go to the restroom alone. I don't know, maybe maybe I should do a topic about that. Leaving your I mean not leaving, but telling your kids to go wash their hands even though they're under the age of 5. I'm very protective of my little niece she's only three i'm very protective of her when she goes to the restroom i go with her when she washes her hands i go with her just because there's people that are crazy you know not saying that you should do that but i was wondering why would you leave your kids to go to the restroom alone because i heard stories and stories of um little kids being alone and then a man or a woman or whatever enters and you know so that actually wasn't for a good story, but I had to tell the lady, I mean, I had to tell the kids to get out because they were playing with the water. They were playing with the, um, the, what's it called? Oh, when you dry the hands, the paper towel, I had to tell them to stop doing that and then they left and then, I mean, they leave. And I was like, why would you leave your kids to make a mess in the restroom? Like, and then I cleaned it up. Mm. I think that's all. I think that's all for my story times. So, oh, this video is getting 14 minutes long, so I have to end it. So, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video, and thank you so much for watching. Oh, stay tuned for my video Friday, since I don't work that day. And I watch a video for Sunday. I'm trying to think of a schedule that I can make for myself, so that way I can stay consistent. So, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching.